All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's look at the lemongrass. There's nine plants. Uh, two, I mean three, are about a year or two years, and the rest are about a year old. So let's take a look and we'll see what we got here. All right, so these are the two lemongrass I, I planted in my garden. They have a long history of being in cow manure compost and compost mixture. I did fertilize probably a year ago, everything. Some things were new, so I didn't fertilize those because I didn't buy any yet. But when I cut the tops off, when I harvested for freezing for tea, that came up. So that's how they grow. These are the seed pods. We'll take a look at the actual plant and look at a little thing. All right. So very big. You can cut them back all the way down there and harvest all that thought of selling it and make some money or something I'm just kidding yeah maybe and let's take a look at the other side they grow differently when they were grown for the last trimming this side was really had nothing but the other side had rust they call it on the leaves but yeah so it is gonna get in about <clears throat> as it says about 45 degree temperature so everything will be Hopefully watered by the sundown to keep that insulation up. But uh, we're um, east coast of Florida. Okay. Coming over here. When I harvest them, they look pretty clean cut though. They're very big. A lot of stalks at the bottom. Never harvested the stalks. But yeah. This was the third lemongrass. I planted in the garden. Those two over there we just seen were from Lowe's. And the rest of them that you see from now are from Ace Hardware. For watering, if it's not cold the next day or so in the morning, I'll usually water once a day or once every two days. So I let the soil dry out between waterings most of the time with the two days. That's all new growth up there. Yep. It's a nice plant, really bushy. So these are the younger ones. They're not as old. These are the year old ones, year and a couple months. But I just mulch this one. And then when I put the compost and the manure down, I put the old leaves around the plant and a lot of them i didn't have enough compost for everybody but i did a lot of them but uh here's another one coming over here just want to see something that's all eggplant <clears throat> there's these little bugs that if something's dead or dying or just like say the collards leaf they shed a lot they'll eat it it's like a recycling bin for your garden soil. So there's another one. Maybe we'll see the cat somewhere. Maybe it shows his face. All right, so these so these ones are all from Ace, except those two from Lowe's two and a half to two years ago. So the other two lemongrass. There's the other one. So this is the last one I planted. This is where the onions were, so I planted it right here in rich soil. But, uh, yep. Here's the other side. We have two more lemongrass to do, and we'll be done to the next plant species. So when these lemongrass grow around other plants, they really sh shade. So, uh, Tabasco peppers on the other side, see how big it is? Yeah, it's pretty big. It's actually quite beautiful. Very big, guys. A lot of peppers it's produced this, this year. Off. So last lemongrass, let's go on to another plant.